Welcome. We're a little off track with this week's episode, so if you're here just for our travel locations, you may want to catch us on the next one when we explore Mungo National Park. This week we are demonstrating a sustainable and free cooking method compared to your normal gas or diesel oven. I'm going to make a banana bread today with walnuts in it and I'm going to do it in the slow cooker. We've got plenty of power going on, why use gas? So I've uh, pre-lined the slow cooker, as you can see, just baking paper. I'm doing a double mixture of banana and walnut bread. The reason for the double mixture is because the slow cooker is so large, I figure that's probably going to need to happen. I've got eggs, walnuts, milk, butter, brown sugar. Bananas out of the freezer and a little bit of cinnamon. So I'll just put all that together. Firstly, we need one and three quarter cups of self raising flour, but times that by two. I use wholemeal self raising flour, so that's what all the, the bits are on top. Then we want a quarter of a cup of plain flour. Okay, then we want our brown sugar in here. One teaspoon of cinnamon, so two. Mix that well to start with. Next you just want to beat four eggs. Your butter. And remember, I'm using double, so yeah. One banana. Making sure that you mash the banana through, your butter through. Add your milk, which is 250 ml. two cups. I want it to be chunky. You know, lightly crushed some and yeah. I'm gonna add those to the flour. Put in the rest. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And we just combine it. Okay, so when it all looks combined, it can go into the slow cooker. So because we're using the slow cooker, I have, it's like a cozy that you put on to the lid. And the reason being is to keep the condensation from dripping onto your cake or your bread or any of that sort of thing. So it fits really nice. I'll try and put a link in the description to the lady that I got it from. She's on the Facebook site, uh, One More Day to Rain, I think it is. So it's just uh, country women's groups that uh, selling things online on Facebook to make up some of their income while they're in drought. So anyway, we use this and because we don't preheat the slow cooker, you have to allow that time into the cooking as well. Cook it on 180 degrees, which is roughly medium in my slow cooker. So what better way to cook than outside in the sunshine, stops the van from getting too hot. And yeah, it's just getting cooked by the sun. Okay. 
Okay, folks. I think I've cooked it for nearly three hours, but I ended up turning it up to high. And look at this. And so the top's looking a little moist, but that's because of the way it's been cooked. It should dry out once the lid's off. So there we are. Beautiful. Turn it off. Hopefully, we'll flip it and not kill it. Da 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 da! Bloody hot. I'm shaking it, it's already out. <laughs> Golly gosh, look at this. So it looks like it got a little bit brown around the bottom. But it's Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Mate, it's hit hot. Whoa. Da -da -da. Look at that. I'm pretty proud of that. I reckon that'll go nice with a bit of Nuttalex on it. While it's still smoking hot. If you'd like to try this recipe, I will put it on our website. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. Next week, we ditch the cooking and head off to Mungo National Park to check out Mungo Man and Mungo Woman. We also meander around the Great Wall of China while we're there. We really hope you join us.